Hey dolls! Okay, so today I'm going to be doing the updated case collection for you guys for my iPhone. Um, I did count through them and I think I have like 63 or 64, so this is probably going to be a really long video. I'm going to apologize in advance. Um, I know a couple case collections back it was like 25 minutes long and I only had like 15 or 16 cases, uh, or 20 cases or something like that, I don't know. but. We got some cases and hopefully I can just power right through this video. I'm not going to talk too much about each case. I'm just going to kind of give you guys a zoom up of each one, tell you where I got it, and that's pretty much about it. Also, my hair is going really crazy today, so I just threw it up in this messy bun and put on this little rarity uh, hair bow that I got from a subby. And also, another thing I wanted to mention was, 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 I think that's everything that I wanted to mention. So, um, I guess we're going to go ahead and get into this. So, if you don't like super long videos, feel free to exit this out now because I am apologizing ahead of time. Oh, that's what else I wanted to talk to you about. As for an updated what's on my iPhone and what's on my iPad mini, I will not be doing an updated one anytime in the near future, just for the fact that absolutely nothing has changed changed other than my wallpapers and my wallpapers are just pictures of me and my boyfriend and some my little ponies and stuff that you guys can totally just find on Google. So um with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and get into this. These are cases for an iPhone 4 and yeah let's 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 jump on into this right now. Okay? Okay, let's go. So I'm going to start off with these simple cases first. This one is just a pink bumper that I got at my local Dollar Tree. Then the next one we have is just this cute little blue penguin that I got from a subscriber. One of my dolls sent this cute little blue penguin to me. Then I have this green one that I got on eBay. And this one has a little stand that pops out. If you type in iPhone 4 hybrid case, um, these will pop up on eBay. And it's just got the silicone that covers the hard piece. And it's just lime green. I got this because my boyfriend has a very similar one for his phone. And he doesn't have the same phone as me, but he has a similar um, case for his phone. So I got it to match. Then I have this super cute little peekaboo Hello Kitty one that my friend Mallory actually gave me. It's just Hello Kitty peeking around the corner. It says Hello Kitty in the corner. And then she's also down here and she just looks so adorable peeking and it's pink. I believe you can get this on eBay or Amazon. Then the next one I actually got sent from a subscriber as well. Um, this one was actually uh, sent to me from, I believe, Desiree. I believe that was her name. If not, I'm so super sorry, but it's just a pink uh, Game Boy. And I know you can get these on eBay and Amazon. And it's just silicone. Then I have this cool Lego one that was also sent to me from a subscriber. Um, and this little pink piece you can kind of just take off and put wherever you want back on the case. So it can be wherever you want and I think that is cute. Again, another silicone case. The next one is this cute little panda bear case that was sent to me from my friend Ella here on YouTube. Um, her YouTube is Dreams Vlogs, or Dreams Vlog, and uh, we actually did a swap, and before we did the swap, she sent me a little Prezi mail, and this little panda was in there. You can definitely get these on eBay and Amazon. Then I have this Rilakkuma case. This one is just a gray one with a little yellow ears. This one I got off of Amazon. And then this one right here is just a yellow one. You can see the difference in the two. When I ordered this one, I intentionally ordered this one, but they sent me the wrong color. But I ended up just keeping it and getting my money back. Um, and then someone actually sent me the correct one. Um, so this is the Rilakkuma, the kind of the beige cream color with the pink ears. And again, these are all silicone. And then this little stitch one right here was also sent to me from Desiree. I believe that's her name. If not, I am totally sorry, but it's just a super cute little stitch. And I'm not sure where you can get this one. I've only seen the ones that have the full body. The next case is actually a Otterbox or an Otterbox. This one I got off of eBay for around $10. It shipped from Hong Kong, I believe. But um, Otterboxes usually go for $30, $40, $50, $60 dollars at my local Walmart. So to find one on eBay for only like $10, it was super awesome. But this is just the pink Realtree one. You can see it says Otterbox on it right there and right there. The next case is actually a life proof case that was sent to me from a subscriber. And it just looks like this. It's just a basic white and gray life proof case. 
Then the next one was also sent to me from a subscriber. This one was sent to me from Brittany. Um, the Life Proof one may have been sent to me from Brittany as well, but I can't remember. I'm sorry, girl. Um, but this one is, was definitely sent to me from Brittany. She got this off of eBay or Amazon, I believe. But it just looks like polka dots from far away, but it's actually just a heart. It's, it's hearts. Sorry, I got an email. But uh, you can just search iPhone 4 heart case on eBay and it will pop up. Uh, that's how I found it anyway. Then the next two are just little rabbit o cases that were each individually sent to me from two different subscribers. I believe this one was sent to me from Brittany as well. I cannot remember for sure, but it's just a black one. And then this pink one actually was all bedazzled and jeweled up from another doll who had sent it to me. Uh, but the jewels all came off and they all fell off and everything, so that was unfortunate. And um, the, the little cotton tail didn't come with it. She kind of just sent it by itself. You can kind of see the glue residue. Uh, left over, but it's still super cute and I still like to wear it on my phone. It's it's really cute. It's all pink All right, and then we have moving on to let's move on to just basic plastic cases <clears throat> So I always get a lot of questions about this case and this is one of those cases That is the battery charging case literally if you just get on eBay and you type in um, iPhone 4 external battery case or battery charging case or charger case something like that it will pop up and I got this for about ten dollars on eBay it's just a pink one and it does come with a separate cord for you to charge this into the wall and then when your phone battery dies you can just slip this case on it and it will use the internal battery from this so it'll be kind of an external battery and then we have this cute little Hello Kitty one. This was one of the first cases that I got for my iPhone. I got this on eBay uh, for like four or five dollars and it was shipped from China, but it is so cute and it was totally worth the wait for it to get here. But it's just the pink one. They have these in several different colors as well. Then this one I have, um, my niece wrote Belle was here on this, but um, it's just one of those little, I don't know, you guys have seen this in my past case collection videos if you've seen them before, but you can kind of just like write stuff on it and it just kind of like fades away. But the only thing that I have to say about this particular case, I got this for like $2 on eBay. Uh, the thing I have to say about this particular case is that it doesn't like to stay on my phone. My phone likes to slip out of it very easily. So um, I don't know if that has to do with the magnetized board in the back or what, but it, my phone does not want to stay in this case at all. Uh, and then the next one I have was sent to me from a doll, Lori. This is actually an LED um, case where you put the little battery back there and then when someone calls you or texts you or whatever and you have your LED flash alerts turned on in your settings, this will flash different colors of the rainbow and it is so adorable. It flashes on the sides as well as on the Hello Kitty and I think that that is super cute. Then the next one I have right here, I believe this was sent to me from Lisa's Bits and Pieces on Etsy. I did a case review. It's just a basic plastic hard case. It's got some floral detail on it. Very pretty, very cute. The next one, shake it, shake it, shake. I actually got, um, you guys have seen me do, um, do a tutorial on this. It's a little eye glitz review slash tutorial. There are beads in here as you can hear, and uh, it, these were only available for a short amount of time at Toys R Us. I don't think they're available anymore, but um, if you want to see my tutorial on this, go ahead and just search Manda31409 Eye Glitz, and um, it will pop right up. It's I-G-L-I-T-Z, and the tutorial on how to make one of these um, using their kit and everything shows up. The next one I actually painted myself. It is just a leopard print. Uh, this one and um, this one I actually got from a company. I cannot remember the company name, but it, I think it's iPhoneCases.UK.co or .com or .UK. I don't remember the exact URL, and I'm so sorry for that, but um, I just love both of these cases so much. They do... Um, have print on the back. I do have a video about this. I believe it's pink diamonds actually. So if you if you uh, type Manda31409 pink diamonds into the YouTube search bar, my video for these will pop up so you can find out where to buy them, uh, all the information like that. But they are super cool and they actually do have like 3D rhinestones on them. This one's perfect for like the spring and then this one's perfect for like the winter. I did get a third one that they had sent me but I actually sent that one to my friend Ella in our swap. Alright, and then we have the next one is my 
erase case. This one actually has writing on it, so I'm not going to say show you what it is, but it's just a basic case, a basic white case, and then it also came with the marker and the cleaning solution that you can use to wipe it off. The reason I don't want to show you what's on here is because there's names on here, and I don't know if people want their names shown, um, but anyway, so it's just a white case, and it's called the erase case. You could just buy it at theeraseCase.com. And then I believe they also make them for Samsungs and iPods and iPads, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me. Uh, the next one is just this pretty um, green, like, quilted one that's, like, really soft that was also sent to me from a subscriber. Then I have this pink glitter one that I actually just made myself. You can see it's very sloppy in the back because I took a white case and I kind of spray painted it with pink and then I kind of went over it with the glitter. Um... But anyway, and yes, I did just use Mod Podge for this. So in case you're wondering, the glitter does not flake off. I just used Mod Podge. So there is that one. This one was sent to me from Phone Case of the Month. And it is just a super cute, cute, cute little mustache case. And the next one was also sent to me from Lori. This one is just a pretty, pretty blinked out Hello Kitty. Some of the gems have been coming off like crazy, but I don't even care. This case is just adorable in itself. And then I actually have another one of those that was also sent to me. I can't remember who this was sent to me from. I really apologize. I think it may have been Brittany, but then again, I can't remember um, who sent me this. I'm so sorry. I do not remember, but it was sent from one of my dolls, and I absolutely love this case. None of the rhinestones have come off of this one yet. Um, well, a couple on the sides, but those aren't even noticeable, but it's just so cute and blingy. And again, it's kind of like the other one. And I know you can get these on eBay. So there is that. The next one is just a basic purple standout case that I got at my local Dollar Tree. Just basic, kind of blah. Then this one actually came in a two-pack. I also got the white and blue polka dot one off of Amazon. And I actually sent the blue one to my friend Alexis, a.k.a. OK Alexis, here on YouTube. And uh, she's kind of just like my best friend on YouTube that I've met through YouTube or whatever. So I kind of just gave her the blue one because she likes blue better than pink. And I like pink better than blue. So I got the pink one. She got the blue one. And the back is like hard, but the sides are like silicone. So it does like bend, but it's like hard plastic on the back. I got these on Amazon for like $2 for the set, I believe. And then this case, ooh, sorry, I almost broke stuff. And then this case right here is very, very, very common to have. It is just the uh, case, the ice cream melt case that just looks like that, that goes on the phone. And then I have the super cute, super cute little Hello Kitty one that just has leopard on the bottom. I've seen this on eBay. And again, it's kind of silicone, but the back is like a hard plastic. Uh, but she's so cute. She's in her little geeky glasses. And then I have, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and move on to more. Uh, this one was also sent to me from Ella. And it is just, again, kind of like another like hybrid type case. It's just... It's just hard plastic, but I've seen these on eBay. And then Ella also sent me this one in our swap. I have been wanting one of these cases forever, and she finally had got one. Uh, or she, I finally got one because she found it for me. And I believe that these are on eBay or Etsy. I'm not 100% sure. I don't exactly know. Um, but it's just like a studded floral case, and I absolutely love the mint color. And she also sent me this one. I have no idea where she got this. I have no clue whatsoever. But it just has like these little leaves or feathers. And it's pink and purple. And then the back kind of looks like a honeycomb or something. Like it looks like really cool. And it's just kind of like a silicone -y plastic. As you can see. So there is that one. And then Ella also sent me this one. It is one of the lens changers. And I've seen these on um, eBay. But it just has little filters that you can change for your little camera. So you can take like pink pictures and macro pictures. I gotta tell you guys, the macro lens on this case is crazy. Like you can be like this close to your fingernail and the picture will turn out so crisp and clear. It is so awesome. So there is that one. <clears throat> All right, and then moving on, I have this one that I was recently sent from a subscriber you guys have probably seen. I was sent both of these from the same subscriber. This one is just like a little mirror and then this one is 
a glittery and it, I believe the girl who sent this to me was named Bella so thank you for these Bella they are so pretty and gorgeous and I love how unique the mirror one is sorry my voice is cracking like I said I think I'm getting sick um, then I have these two right here. I did actually get a third one, but I ended up giving it to my niece because it was more her taste. Uh, I got both of these from Rock Studs, so, um, you can see my, uh, uh, my review on these if you type in Mana31409 Rock Studs on, uh, YouTube. But this one is just white and has pink studs, and this one is clear, which I think is awesome, and has green, lime green studs. I did have another one that the back ground was lime green and the studs were black and it had a skull in the center but again I gave that one to my niece because it was more her style so there are those and again if you want to see more about these certain cases I love this case I went in kind of depth about how you can customize this case by putting in different uh, pieces of paper or like pictures behind it um, so definitely check out my review for uh, for rock studs if you want to see how I customized this one right here Alright, and then moving on, we have two that I ordered from Case App, or that Case App had sent me to do a review on. Uh, Case App is just basically, um, it's also an app as well as a website, caseapp.com, where you can go and upload your own pictures and text and make your own uh, cases, and they are so good quality, and they're like embossed with letters and stuff. And it, um, like the lettering is like embossed, and you can kind of like feel the 3D dimension to it. <clears throat> excuse me but uh the first one I got is this one right here it has a wolf on it and it says never run from your fears because once they catch up to you you'll be too tired to fight so there's that one and I absolutely love this case and I absolutely love this one as well it is just Princess Cadence from My Little Pony, and the quote on there is actually my quote that I say at the end of all my videos. It says, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. And so there's that one. And I also have this silicone Hello Kitty that you can also just get on eBay. Just type in iPhone 4 Hello Kitty silicone case and it'll pop up probably. And then as I was talking about how to customize like your own case and stuff like that, I actually have this clear case. It is a clear case. Hold on, let me take all these little papers out of here. Um, it is just a blank clear case and I actually have a tutorial. It's called Sticker Case Tutorial. So if you go to Amanda31409 Sticker Case Tutorial here on YouTube you will probably see it. But I just take a clear case and I just put stickers all over a piece of paper and then I just cut it right and so it fits in perfectly. You can also do this with different picture collages or just different ways of doing this. I'll show you a couple more that I have. Here's just a basic piece of scrapbook paper paper just cut it to fit there you go you have your own custom case I would suggest to anyone who has any type of phone case or any type of phone in the world to invest in a clear case because if you have a clear case and you go to the craft store or Walmart or Michaels or Target or wherever you can get cheapy 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 little uh, pieces of scrapbook paper stick some stickers on them and have your very own custom case and they're very versatile you can have um, a flag one, you can have a camo one, you can have a Barbie one, you can have a girly one, you can print out whatever picture you want off your computer and put it in here, cut it down to size. As you can see it's just a basic piece of scrapbook paper that I cut down and it has a Lisa Frank sticker on it and boom I just made my own custom case. And so there is that. I would highly recommend anyone investing in a clear case because they are totally amazing. Alright sorry if I'm like talking way too much and stuff. Okay. Whew, okay, then I have this little camera case that was also sent to me from Ella. It is so cute and so awesome. And if you guys are thinking about getting this case, it took me literally like 20 minutes to figure out how to open this case. I thought that you had to take out like these little screws up here, but you don't. So if you get this case, this bottom piece just slides off and your phone just slides in right there. So <laughs> don't be like me and spend like an hour trying to figure out how to open this stupid case. So uh, yeah, I believe these are available on eBay and Amazon as well. All right, and now getting into the deco cases. Some of these I have made and some of these I have um, purchased and some of these were sent to me from Etsy shops. Uh, the first one was actually sent to me from a subscriber. This one was just a cheap, um, not a cheap, I'm not gonna say it was a cheap one, but compared to Deco Den cases that are like $70, $80 for Swarovski crystals, this one was cheap because this was probably around 10 to $20 on eBay. Um, it's kind of just like the little Hello Kitty kind, you know, the eBay kind. Um, I'm not saying it's cheap. Uh, the, the, the quality of it is 
incredible. I absolutely love this case. Uh, but it is cheaper compared to the rhinestone deco den style that you would typically see on Etsy. So then we have another blinged out case. This one right here it came from Pretty Phone Cases on Etsy, P-R-E-T-T-I um, Phone Cases. Again, I have a review on this. Just search Manda3409 Pretty Phone Cases. My review will pop up with the link to where you can buy one of these. She made this custom for me to review. It is very cute, very girly, and I love the placement of the rhinestones on the side. Uh, this little whipped cream deco one I actually made myself. It is a card holder, so it holds like business cards or credit cards or whatever. Um, this was just a cheap case that I got at my local Dollar Tree, and I just decorated it myself. And then the next one is also a blinged out one that I did myself. This one is crazy, crazy blinged out. This was one of my first like rhinestone cases that I've ever blinged. Uh, it's got two pieces. It's got the back and then it's got the front piece. This one is crazy, crazy. Um, I didn't use as much glue as I should have, so these rhinestones kind of fall off. Um, but if you are wondering what glue to use for the rhinestone decoden cases, use E6000 glue. Um, and you can get it literally like $2 for a big tube of it at Walmart. At my Walmart you can anyway. And it's also available at different craft stores. So to make cases like this, you use E6000 glue. So there's that one. And then I have another blinged out case. This is one of my favorite blinged out cases ever, you guys. This case, oh my god, I am so in love with this case. This is from, you guys know where this is from? You guys know where this is from? Jess Venice Designs on Etsy. Her cases are gorgeous. And again, um, like I said before, these ones I believe are made with re real Swarovski crystals. So the cases on her shop are a little bit more spendy. But definitely the quality is just immaculate on these. I love the shine. This one is actually a two-piece and I just love this so much and I also have a review on this so go ahead and search for that if you want to see it. Alright and then I have another um, deco one. This is one is a Princess Cadence one that I got from uh, Petal Dew Pastry on Etsy or Petal Dew Pastries and again I have a a video on this and Petal Dew is P-E-T-A-L-D-E-W space and then pastries uh, P-A-S-T-R-I-E-S -E -E I believe or it's just pastry P-A-S-T-R-Y something like that uh, but anyway you can go look at my review for this as well and then and then I have this other one that I got from Rai Rai Sweet or Riri Sweet on Etsy and it has actually pink silicone and the pieces are all pink and it's actually on a pink clear case which I thought was super cool and unique. She sent me this to review so I absolutely love this case. Definitely check her out on Etsy if you want a deco case. They are gorgeous. Then I have another deco case. This one is from, I believe it was from Maddie Kawaii or something like that. I cannot remember her shop's name, uh, but it's just the nice silicone Hello Kitty and ice cream scoop she made herself, and it's on a clear case. Then, 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 then I have another one that I absolutely am in love with. This one is from Sadie's Creations on Etsy. It is just a pink, it's got pink drizzle on the side, it's got Pinkie Pie, an ice cream scoop she made, um, and it's just got different like little sweets on there. Again, on a clear case, uh, just type in Sadie's Creations, um, Manda31409, YouTube search bar, you know what to do to see the review and find out. Uh, her link to get this. She's also on Instagram at Sadie's Creations, so you can check her out there. Um, and then I have two that I actually made. The first one is this one right here. You guys have probably seen this on my shop's Instagram, which is 50 underscore shades underscore of underscore pink. So uh, 50 shades of pink underscores with between each word or whatever, but this is also a two-piece. It's on a clear case. There's no side drizzle on this one, but I just made this one myself, and it's got little pink Hello Kitties, and as for where I get my cabochons and pieces to put on these, Etsy! Just type in cabochons, and there are a zillion of them will pop up. Then I also made this one. It's just uh, a Kori Lakuma, and it says Barbie, and then the side drizzle on this one is a uh, 
uh, purple glitter. If you guys want to know what the side drizzle is, all it is is puffy paint or fabric uh, paint that kind of comes in the little tube, and it's just it's just puffy paint. Um, if you don't if you aren't familiar with puffy paint, just search puffy paint, and uh, you just let it dry completely, and then you start putting on the silicone. And the silicone I just get at Walmart. It is the GE brand 100% white silicone. All right, and then, and as for doing the actual process of making the whipped cream cases, literally, if you just type in Deco Den tutorial here on YouTube, you'll find so many. I personally will not be doing a tutorial on how to make these kinds of cases, but um, you will find tons of videos if you just search. Then the next two cases, I seriously, this is probably my favorite, favorite, favorite case Etsy shop ever. Um, the first case is this one right here. It is a Charmy Kitty case. She actually sent me this one to review and it is from Share Bear Phone Cases and a few months after she sent me this one she said, oh my gosh Amanda, look at my new uh, phone case that I just made and there was a My Little Pony phone case and I was so pleased with her work from this one. There are no rhin rhinestones, blah, 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 I can't talk. There are no rhinestones missing at all. And I absolutely love this case. I love the quality of this. And I said, you know what? I want you to make me a Fluttershy one. So she made me a Fluttershy My Little Pony uh, 3D style case. And you guys, this is my favorite case. A lot of people ask me what my favorite case is. And it's got to be this one right here, hands down. I absolutely love 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 this this was about thirty dollars uh but i did i actually purchased this she didn't supply this for me i just loved this case so much and i loved the quality of it that i had to get this my little pony one when she showed me that she had made it my little pony can you see like the detailing of these rhinestones on the side she hand makes these so each little piece is put on um one at a time so it takes her hours to complete the project and as you can see Fluttershy does stand out fairly far and a lot of people <clears throat> don't like that because then it can't fit in their pocket but I must say that it does fit very comfortably in my hand like it just kind of fits kind of perfect like my middle finger goes right here my pointer finger goes right here and then my my ring finger just kind of like lets it rest on there and then my pinky goes underneath my phone to hold it and it just kind of feels so perfect in my hand. I absolutely love this case. It is so, 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 so gorgeous. Um, and again, she just used E6000 glue because I personally asked her. So um, if you were curious as to how well the rhinestones stay on and everything like that, I probably used this case for probably like three or four weeks straight after I got it, maybe even longer. And the rhinestones have still held up and it is just Oh my gosh, you guys, this case is gorgeous. Definitely check out Share Bear Phone Cases. It's C-H-E-R space B-E-A-R and then phone cases. Um, very adorable. Again, I have a review as well as an unboxing of this case. So definitely check that out. And then I have three more little cases. They are just uh, little wallet cases. The first one I actually got from a store by my house called Big Lots. Um, and I got this for like $6 or something like that. But it's just pink, oh, excuse me. But it's just a pink little wristlet wallet case that you can put your phone in. Then I have two more that a subscriber actually sent me. The first one is this cute little leopard one. And again, you just put your phone right in there. It's got a section for money and cards and ID, etc., etc., just like that. And then the last one actually came from the same subscriber, and it says, Stash Yo Cash. And again, it just pops open. You put your phone in right there. You have your little wallet part right here close it up and yes uh, for those who have been wondering the little plastic does not affect the keys at all you can actually use your phone with the keys and uh, it's also got a little wristlet I far I forgot I forgot and I actually forgot that I do have one more case this is my little what does the fox say case um <laughs> it's not literally that brand or anything like that I actually found this on Walmart or at Walmart and it was in a duo with a little lip gloss like lip gloss palette and um, it said lip gloss and phone case duo or something like that there is a picture of it on my Instagram so if you follow me on Instagram at Amanda31409 you can see it uh, but it was just a little lip gloss on this side and then the phone case on this side and I saw it because um, I just love the what does the fox say and I believe they did have a few other ones I believe they have like a cat and stuff but they were in the toy section so 
I don't know, it was very little girly and stuff, but this is the one that I have on my phone right now. I have the white iPhone 4, and I just have little uh, a little Hello Kitty home button that I got on eBay right there. And yes, my phone is white, as you can see, and this case is just like a little slip-on silicone one, but I absolutely love it. Alright, so that actually is going to wrap it up. I'm so sorry this video was so super long. Um, the other thing that I did want to mention at the beginning of this video uh, was that no, I am not trying to brag at all whatsoever about my phone case collection. A lot of people want to see these videos. That's the only reason I do them. Um, if you guys hadn't asked for them or didn't want to see them or hadn't you know, begged me to do them, I wouldn't do them, um, because I don't feel that it's right for me to, like, brag to you guys or anything like that. I'm not bragging at all. Companies have, you know, trusted me to do product reviews. That's why they have sent me them, and a lot of just subscribers have just been so sweet, and I just want to thank you each individually if you have sent me a phone case or just anything in general. You don't have to send me anything. Don't feel obligated to send me anything at all. It's just so sweet for each and every individual one of you just to watch my videos. So, um, yeah, with that being said, I don't know what else to say. I'm sorry this video was so long, but I think I did pretty well for having like 60 phone cases, right? So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and go. Uh, go ahead and comment below with what your favorite phone case was. You have plenty of options. Um, yeah, just comment below. Tell me which one you like or which style you like. Do you like the silicone cases? Do you like the stud cases? Do you like the hard plastic cases? Do you guys like the blinged out ones? Do you like the deco den ones? Just comment below telling me what your favorite phone cases are or tell me if you have any of these phone cases like the little battery one or like the little pink Hello Kitty one or wallet cases. Just tell me, tell me anything about your phone cases because I love to see what you guys have and um, yes with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and go and I will talk to you in my next video so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you okay bye